Today's project is based upon this little um, GSM GPRS board um, for sending, in our case, uh, SMS messages. What I want to do is to make a little alarm system. Uh, here in rural Spain, uh, many people have uh, cortijos in the, in the countryside, uh, which may store um, tools and things that they, they need. And unfortunately, they become the target of uh, various nefarious types, uh, ladrones. And uh, Wi-Fi coverage, internet coverage is very sparse in these areas. So uh, the way to go, I feel, is to use one of these little boards with a, a SIM card in it that can simply monitor uh, an alarm either from a, just a simple switch or other things that we'll take a look at. And uh, if it gets alarmed, it can send the owners uh, a message on their phone. These particular boards are controlled by uh, um, a serial link um, using what's called the AT command set. Now, the AT commands were originally developed by a company called Hayes and I was privileged to go on one of their courses once many years ago, back in the 80s. Uh, the screwdriver survived, uh, unfortunately the smart modems didn't, but there we go. So to be able to control this using the AT commands, I'm just going to use this little uh, USB serial uh, board and get it talking to this before I develop the project further and end up controlling this via um, a little microcontroller. So let's move on and get this installed and see if we can talk to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to connect the USB to serial and we heard there that it's been recognized by the PC. Um, just for the avoidance of doubt, if we look in the device manager, we can see it here as the Silicon Labs device on COM4. So we need to know that information to use our uh, communications program of, of choice. Now I either use this Terra term or today I'm going to be using uh, the, the PuSy terminal emulator. So in here we select serial and we know it's going to be on COM4 and the speed is 9600 board which is supposed to be the default for the, uh, the little GSM card. I always like to test things uh, as I go along and to test that this is actually talking what we need is a processor and peripheral electronic reactive communications link interface probe. Now you may be wondering what that is and uh, <laughs> it's a paper clip and this was produced uh, all back in the 80s or maybe even earlier and uh, simply in those days on the 24 version you stuck this in 2 and 3 and you performed uh, a loopback so you could test that the equipment was working and as it says uh, aren't you clever the next time someone tries to pull the wool over your eyes just wave your paper clip so to use our sophisticated piece of test equipment uh, we have our UART connected here and in the terminal window if we press and hold down a key uh, we see nothing on the screen. We can see the transmit uh, LED just briefly flashing there but obviously there's nothing coming back. So we connect the receive and transmit using our uh, sophisticated gear and now we can see that the, the character is, is echoed back and we see the receive and transmit working. So uh, we're good to move on to the next point. On the screen we can see the pinout for the board and the board has some rather strange power requirements which we'll go into later. But suffice it to say we have ground and VCC. We're not doing anything with the reset. We have our receive and transmit pins. And the only other one we need to worry about is the boot pin, which needs to be um, connected to ground. So that's connected over here to the, to the ground. So we're hooked up now. We've got our TTL USB converter, serial converter, the board itself. And we can see um, that it's apparently connected to the network as the LED is flashing. 
and I'm powering it at the moment from this little external uh, programmable power supply at 4.3 volts. So it appears to be all good. So now let's see if we can talk to it. As I mentioned before here, we just look into the computer manager to check that uh, our USB adapter is on COM4 and then we can run a putty program. So it's serial COM4. Now the default speed um, is a matter of some conjecture. Uh, some documentation says it's 9600 and others says it's 115200. So we'll start on this and see where we go. And opening the terminal window. Now, what should happen if I turn the device off for a moment? What should happen when you turn on is that you get a, a message to say that the, the modem is, is ready. So we can see our lights come on and it's allegedly connected to the network, but no message on the terminal window and nothing on the, there's a very dim uh, blinking on the receive pin, but uh, we're not seeing anything. We know that this works because we've tested it. We can uh, assume that the board works. And in fact, if I now dial the device, So we can hear it ringing and we can see the ring indicator working on the board. So what possibly could the problem be? We know that our serial board works because we've tested that. This apparently works because we can call it and we can see the ring indicator working, but they're not talking. Now we could just give up at this point, but uh, a little bit of history for you. Uh, when I was about five years old, out with my mother shopping, um, she bought me this little book and uh, it changed my life. And one of the most important lessons from this uh, book, uh, just an example with they're testing a, a torch, what it says here is they solved the problem by trial and error, which is very much the way a scientist works in his laboratory. He thinks about a problem and tries to find the answer by experiment. If he does not succeed, he goes on trying different ways until the problem is solved. If one of your experiments does not work, find out why. Brilliant advice, which has uh, served me well for uh, over 55 years now. And I know what the problem is with this. It's to do with the TTL levels. Now, not all TTL levels are equal. So TTL is transistor, transistor logic but it can operate uh, normally either at 5 volts or at 3.3 volts. This is a 3.3 volt board and this uh, UART will only support 5 volt signals. So we're going to have to get that swapped out for a different model. The new USB UART card is on COM9 and I've discovered that the default uh, board rate should be 115200. Just going to make the screen a bit bigger. Okay, so powering the board up, we get our modem startup message. And then we should, after a few seconds, see it connect to the GSM network. which is indicated there by the plus PB ready. Uh, we can type commands to it. We can say AT or ATI, get the information of the, of the board. Um, that's really about it for the moment. Um, to actually send an SMS, uh, we have to end the input with a control Z command and that um, I haven't been able to find a way in any terminal emulation program to be able to do that. Uh, if you know how to do it, then uh, please uh, leave me a message in the, in the comments. But for the moment, um, we've proven that we can connect to the devices and talk to it now. And in the next video, we're going to be developing the project by controlling it with a microcontroller and getting some alarm inputs from switches or, uh, 
whatever else.